Bullying may be wrong, but it's not always against the law. There's education code that specifically addresses bullying, but when it comes to the California Penal Code, many legal experts and parents say it's time for the law to catch up with technology. I have three kids. Ed Peisner is busy raising his three teenagers, but life changed last December. It's not a feeling I want any parent to ever experience in my whole life. That feeling of seeing your child like this. What was going on? There was blood everywhere. His son Jordan sucker punched at an LA area shopping center by another teenage boy. But Ed wasn't the only one to watch it. The entire thing recorded and uploaded to Snapchat. I can't look at the video. I still can. Jordan spent nearly a week in the hospital with a ruptured eardrum, fractured skull, and a blood clot. What if that was your child and you were in the hospital wondering if he was going to die from his brain bleeding? Two teens faced charges in connection with Jordan's assault. The person filming did not. How frustrating was it to know that the person filming wasn't charged with anything? Very. Everybody's posting and everybody's it's out of control. Ed is working with Assemblymember Matt DeBobney to hold those who film violent attacks accountable. That proposal named Jordan's Law now going through the legislative process. We're not talking about the bystander who films a random act of violence. Jordan's Law would punish anyone who conspires to record a crime with the purpose of putting it on social media. Like a getaway driver can be part of a crime, a person filming would be too. The proposal would also increase punishment for the attacker. Technology is here and the legal system's here. There's been several high profile cases around the nation that have shown that in many instances, litigation leads to legislation. In California, there is a misdemeanor crime for those who electronically post personal identifying data or harassing messages with the intent to cause fear. Enacting new law can be a long process. In the next 10 years, I wouldn't be surprised if all 50 states expanded the range of criminal prohibitions regarding electronic cyberbullying. Jordan, now 15, is recovering. Dad says there's still a long road. His life's mission now, changing minds. It's something to hopefully wake everybody up. And changing laws. That's my hope, is that before they do something, they'll pause for a second. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.